Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin and this is a video about how to move quizzes, uh, tests from Word documents. As you can see here, I have a Word document. This is a quiz for one of my Spanish classes and how to move them into Schoology very easily. Now, we used to have to do a multiple step process um, that could be very annoying and it takes a while to go ahead and do. And now that's all been eliminated by the use of a specific website which I'm going to attach to this email that you can go ahead and use to be able to quickly convert uh, several different types of test questions from Word files into uh, what's called the Blackboard type of files which Schoology will read automatically for you and you'll also be able to mark like for example the correct answers. So for right now you can see I have five different types of questions right here. I have a multiple choice question up here. My second question is a true and false question. My third is a fill in the blank. My fourth is an essay or short answer question. That's number four. And number five is a matching section. Okay. And I've formatted each one uh, uh, differently to make sure you can kind of see what it's like. Okay. As far as the formatting there. Um, and I'm going to talk about each one once we go to the actual website. So let's take a look at the website itself. Let me scoot over there. And the website is from the College of Southern Idaho. And you will have the link to this. You'll put in a quiz uh, name up here. And I'm going to call it example number six. I've been working on different examples here. And you'll notice once I copied and pasted from Word, I just copied and pasted, make sure that the format looks like this. And the only thing I went ahead and added is my correct answer here. My question is deportes, which in Spanish means sports. So my correct answer is J. So I added this little asterisk there, okay, to indicate the correct answer. That's how you indicate multiple choice questions. So on true and false, number two, I just created a space there labeled number two. I have my sentence, uh, sentence here. And then um, once I finish my sentence on a new line, write the word true or the word false. I think you can even write the letter T or the letter F, uh, both capital and uh, little letters will work, but I just wrote out the word true. Number three is my essay question. It says compare and contrast the Mayan civilizations. I just uh, left everything else blank after that. I don't have to do anything else and it will automatically create a essay question. Number four is a little bit weird because it started off like this in Word. Uh, this is it actually right here. It's number three in this one, in this example. But it says conjugate the verb said in the sentence. And this is a fill in the blank. And it says yo. And then my verb is right here. And then here's my blank and then the rest of my sentence. My answer is the word soy. You see I wrote the letter A there. So let's go back to this, the website, and so we could take a look at it. And here it is, is number four. I actually put it as number four because when I had it as number three, it ended up messing up the rest of my format here. It made, it, it made number three and four fill in the blank questions. So you got to be careful with these fill in the blanks. Write in the word blank first, then the space, then the, the number, and then go ahead and write out the question. I just put conjugate the verb said, blah, 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 blah. And then in the next line, I just wrote out the word soy, which is my answer to my question. They actually had it as like a letter A like this, but I found that it just messed it up a second ago when I was trying to go ahead and work this. My last type of question are matching. This works really well. Just write the word match and then the number that you're going to do is, this happens to be number five. And then I wrote directions here, match the number with the correct word in Spanish. And then go A, B, C, D, as many as you want. And I just wrote like, for example, the number three is tres in Spanish. So write a uh, forward slash there and separate the two here and then it will automatically mix and match those for you once you go ahead and create the test. Once you've created this, you know, and, and depending upon what kinds of things you copied and pasted into here, then you just click create quiz. And I'm going to press create quiz and this already was at the bottom here because I've already done this several times and this says your test seem to have five questions. The package is available here. I'm going to click it just so you can see what happens. Over here, I have a zip file that is popped open and it says, what do you want to do with this? I would just say save the file. I'm going to save it and it's going to appear up here in my downloads. And I've done this several times so you can see I have all kinds of different ones. 
that you can just find your file by clicking this little file uh, locator here. I'm going to rename it from BB Quiz. I'm going to rename it to Example 6. I think this is number 6 that I've been working on here. And yep, Example 6. So now it's in my downloads. Okay. And I'm going to actually drag it to my desktop so I can find it very easily. Move to my desktop. And I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so this is the Blackboard Quiz Generator. Let's go into Schoology. And let's go into a fake class of mine called Folder Holder here. And I'm going to go ahead and press Add Materials, Add a Test or Quiz. This is Example 6 Quiz. I'm going to press Create. You can fill in the rest of the parts of the quiz too, by the way. You can fill in the number of points, the due date, blah, 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 all those kinds of things. But I'm just showing you how to go in and import this. Now, I just go to press Add, import my test or quiz. And remember, I put five different types of questions into this. And you just have multiple choices. It's going to be very easy for you to move stuff. Let's import it from Blackboard 7.1. And let's go find the file. You have to click this weird little button over here where it says File. It's example number six, and I'm going to open it up. And it says import. I'm going to go ahead and import. And it says, you have the following types of questions created. I have a multiple choice, a true and false, an essay, a fill in the blank, and a matching. Let's take a look at each one. So this is multiple choice, the first one. And let's make sure and mark the correct answer. The correct answer should be sports. Here it is. It's marked there. I, of course, could change the point value if I wanted to. Let's go back to the questions. Number two was adjectives and nouns uh, need to agree in number and gender in Spanish. The answer should be true. Uh, and there it is. The correct answer, true. Good. So we are looking good so far. This one, it says compare and contrast the Mayan and Aztec civilization. It's a subjective question because it's a short answer and essay question. I don't even need to look at that. The kids just answer that question. Then I have to go back and grade it. Here's a fill in the blank. Conjugate the verb said in the sentence. This is the one that I was worried about the most because it's so weird. And it looks like, oh, it didn't actually go ahead and put an answer in here. So the correct answer should be soy. The fill in the blank doesn't work very well. Darn it. Okay, but anyway. The last one is matching. Let's look at that one. And it should have matched the number with the correct word in Spanish. We have five with cinco, three with tres, six with seis. I could say allow partial credit if I wanted to. I could change the point value here to 10 or whatever I wanted to go ahead and do. I could put in some filler words to really mess with the kids' heads. I'll press save question. And that's it. Once I'm ready to begin the test, of course, you go to settings and you go available now to make the test available. You press save. You could change any of these settings, of course. And then the test would become available for your students. So you could easily move from here to uh, Schoology now. Okay, so this is what I'm going to include. I'm going to include the link to this Blackboard Quiz Generator, also the directions to the Blackboard Quiz Generator documentation, again from the College of Southern Idaho. Okay, and of course this video. Bueno, hopefully this helps you out. Adios, hasta la vista.